What is a stormwater drainage system? Rainfall results in the formation of stormwater. Stormwater that is not absorbed by the ground due to impermeable pavement or hard surface, spills over to the road or hard surface, is collected by the underground drainage system, called stormwater drainage system. What is the purpose of the stormwater drainage system? The purpose of civil drainage is to collect rainfall runoff from all across the city and discharge it slowly to the downstream river or natural water catchments. Stormwater drainage systems frequently collaborate with the environment, channeling, attenuating, and discharging stormwater through natural features, such as lakes, ditches, ponds, swales, streams, etc. Where does storm drain water go? Water rushes off hard surfaces, such as roads, parking bays, rooftops, pathways, and driveways into stormwater drains. In an urban setting, stormwater drains out to the smaller pipes that connect to larger stormwater pipes, and that finally connects to oversized drains or pipes that transport the water to the outfall points, such as streams, creeks, rivers, and slash or the ocean. Does storm drains connect to the sewage system? The storm system is distinct from the sewage system and just caters to rainwater and groundwater. It also prevents flooding by attenuating surface water. The storm sewer system, that drains surface water, directly to the nearest outfall, such as stream or pond or river, is connected to the drainage system, that you usually see on the roads, footway, and parking bays. Do storm drains lead to the sea or ocean? The sewage water that comes from the household, such as the kitchen, sink, or toilet in your home, is untreated water and therefore goes first for the treatment, and then discharges to the nearby outfall points. Storm water is normally not significantly contaminated, so they need a relatively simpler treatment process before discharging to the outfall points, such as streams, lakes, rivers, or the ocean. What is surface water flooding? When rainwater does not drain away through typical drainage systems, or does not trickle down to the permeable ground earth, but instead lies on or flows over the ground, surface water flooding occurs. The responsibility of managing or controlling the risk of surface water flooding comes under the purview of the lead local flood authority or agency. What is a poor drainage system? The poor drainage system can cause flooding, resulting in property loss and possibly causing people to relocate to avoid the flood waters. Flooding can also wreak havoc on water supply infrastructure and pollute home water supplies. Following are some well-known common causes of poor drainage systems heavy storms or rains than the design pipe network capacity, damaged pipes, incorrect pipe installation, inadequate water flow system through gravity, blockage in the pipe network due to unknown objects, poor or infrequent maintenance of drainage network, how to prevent surface water flooding, a sustainable drainage system suds is a natural way to manage surface water that can be employed in any form of development, roofs with plants on them, Permeable surfaces are those that allow water to pass through. Filter drains and filter strips are used in infiltration trenches. Swales are a type of shallow drainage canal. Wetlands, detention basins, and purpose-built ponds. What are the innovative stormwater drainage solutions? Here are four programs that change stormwater from a waste to a resource, ranging from building thriving wetlands to reducing the demand for potable water supplies. Big plans for small creek. A new water sources. Going green. Difference between stormwater and wastewater. Stormwater is water that drains into a street drainage system from rain and other sources and discharges to the downstream river or pond or creeks. Flooding and bank erosion are prevented by stormwater drainage systems. Water from households and businesses is the main source of wastewater. Before wastewater is discharged to the nearby streams or creeks, it is very important to treat them. Stormwater management. Stormwater management is the attempt to limit rainwater or melted snow runoff into streets, open ground, and other locations while also improving water quality. Stormwater is filtered when it is trickled down to the existing ground soil and eventually fills the aquifers or runs into nearby streams and rivers. When heavy rains fall, however, the saturated earth produces surplus moisture that seeps across the ground and then to the storm drains and finally to the downstream ditches. It caters to debris, eroded soil mass, bacteria, chemical substances, and other forms of pollutants, and is therefore treated by the downstream defender, before discharging to the stream or river, just before the outfall point. How does storm water management help? In urban settings, impervious surfaces like road pavement, footways, rooftops obstruct the rainwater from naturally soaking into the existing ground. 
Instead, the storm water rushes into the storm drain system through gully and pipe network, drainage ditches, etc., and it causes flooding, contamination, turbidity or muddiness, sometimes overflowing storm and sanitary sewer systems, and finally damages the infrastructure and properties. Storm water management and green infrastructure, on the other hand, aim to collect and reuse storm water in order to preserve or reinstate natural hydrologists. Storm water management is primarily concerned with retaining storm water and eliminating pollutants. Integrated water management. Integrated water management of storm water helps to minimize or eliminate various potential issues, such as the health of rivers or waterways and challenges of the water supply system due to the rapid urban agglomeration. Um is commonly associated with green infrastructure management and prefers to be involved during the early stages of the design process. It helps to identify and mitigate major roadblocks at the early stage of design and a well-integrated infrastructure can be developed. Infrastructure development and urban growth result in increased demands for robust surface water drainage systems. Although climate change and reduction in the green field are two very important factors to consider while designing the proposed drainage system. It is recommended to consider a 20% uplift in surface water quantity due to the climate change factor and maintain the greenfield runoff rate at the outfall location. The most common solution is to provide land-based treatment, such as attenuation ponds, infiltration trenches, bios walls, permeable paving, etc. to reduce storm water runoff. Engineered, manufactured items can also be used to accomplish comparable or possibly better effects than land-based systems is still in its early days, bringing together components of drainage, hydrology, ecology, and the recognition that old-style drainage solutions only push issues downstream, putting the environment and natural water supplies at risk. I hope this video will help you understand the stormwater drainage system and its associated advantages, disadvantages, etc. Please feel free to like, share and comment.